at uh, 1,800 miles, six months of ownership. Oil looks nice and clear, and uh, pretty happy with that. All right, so this is the filter from an 1800 mile Jeep Gladiator in the 3.6. And I just, I wanna just get into it a little bit and take take it apart and show you kind of what, you know, maybe what we can find out about it. So now let's go in, kind of deep dive the the filter media here. You can see there's plenty of plenty of metal in there. And that is all completely normal. This is the first oil change in this truck, um, and I actually sent it to the dealer because uh, I'm do a few oil changes, um, and it got a fresh filter, um, so I could take this apart and show you guys what a new um, filter looks like inside a stock truck. So every Jeep, for that matter, I mean every car, every engine that you, that a, that a dealer that uh, is built, there's a there's a good size one there, some machining, shavings. Every vehicle is going to have some, some stuff in the media here. Um, there looks like there's maybe some paint or some some other um, type of debris. Um, doesn't look like it's metal, more of a plastic or maybe leftover pieces of um, assembly uh, or TV, something like that. You can see so there's plenty of metal flakes in there. They're all probably the size of, I don't know, a millimeter, two millimeters. I mean, they're really tiny. There's There's one there. That's a good size one there. You can see the metal in that. And um, I'm pretty happy with this. I've um, I've seen worse. Uh, I've seen better. I, I think my engine was a little bit better than this um, when I hand built my engine for the Cobra kit car in, in previous videos. That uh, there's another one. And that one is probably one of the bigger ones. Kind of flicked out of there. There's some other some other debris in here besides metal. There's probably that one was pretty thin, but that was probably one of the biggest pieces of material of any material there. <clears throat> and overall, I'm pretty happy. I don't I don't see anything in here that's um, that is going to be long-term damage to my engine the engine ran great for the first there's kind of a wire right there the first 1800 miles um that's probably the longest piece right there but you can see next to my finger I, i'm i could get out of gauge and measure but it's not that important it's it's just i just really want to give you guys a reference there's my you know my thumb and um here is a Sharpie. How about this for a reference? So that is what the inside of a brand new engine looks like when it's built from the factory. Um, overall, I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I think um, it could have been much worse. Uh, it could be better too, but I think, uh, like I said, I've repeated myself several times now. I think it's it's um, it's okay for what it is. The 
engine is going to have some kind of uh, some type of material in it. There's there's machining of the head, there's machining of the block. It's aluminum. Um, there's going to be leftover millings, and what your initial oil change will do is flush all of that junk out of there, stick it in the media, stick it in this filter, in your first oil change, in your first um, you know thousand, two thousand, whatever it is you decide, or the dealer decides for three thousand miles. Um, my my dealer actually was willing to give me an oil change within the first thousand. They they're like, bring it right in. It's a brand new truck. We want to make sure we get all, you know, all the debris out of the engine. Um, and I was like, yeah, I agree with that. But I actually waited till eighteen hundred miles. I didn't drive the truck a lot. It didn't. Um, it didn't give me any problems. I didn't. Uh, the oil the oil was clear when I took it in, and there were there were no major issues. So that is left to uh, up to interpretation and preference. That isn't. You know, that's not scientific by any means, but um, I thought it was, you know, kind of kind of a good way to break down, um, you know, any new vehicle is going to have that, uh, that debris. I think uh, you got a, a good idea of the filter media and what you can find in a brand new engine. And uh, it's, not, uh, it's not bad news. It's not uh, anything to be afraid of. Uh, if you didn't ever, you know, if you've never taken a filter apart before, then you'd not know that, you know, that's just normal. I have some metal, metal in there. I think uh, what I forgot to mention is that if you do see brass inside the filter media, and that's, you know, it's going to be a little more copper colored. If you do find brass in your filter, that is a tall tale sign of bearing failure. Uh, so your crank bearings have a thrust bearing, and when you uh, mate your transmission to your engine. Uh, I know in, in engines that I've worked on, if you don't have those, um, uh, especially with a lot of aftermarket parts, if you don't have those figured out uh, properly or the right uh, dimensions and uh, some of those things, you know, measure to the thousandths, if your transmission is sandwiched into your engine, you can actually get uh, those, uh, those filings off of your thrust bearing on your crankshaft and that'll end up in your filter. And that's, I mean, that's like, that's game over. You got to rebuild the engine. So. Uh, thankfully, it's never happened to me, um, but I do know uh, an engine builder who helped me dyno tune my engines in the past uh, had plenty of examples to, to provide me. So that media there, a little bit of metal uh, silver fleck, that's a good thing. You don't want a whole lot of it, but it's it's not copper, so it's not copper colored. All right, so we go, before we go to the dealer, I'm using a Fram. It's uh, it's one of the nicer um, nicer models, but we know this isn't a dealer filter, and I'm just going to like score it just so I know for sure that it's something I put in I'm gonna just score it right through the numbers just like that and then once I get my dealer oil changed I'll know for sure if they changed the filter or they just passed over on that when they did the oil change So here's the end of the dipstick. Nice and clear. As you would, you know, expect from an oil change, but it was about that uh, that same tint uh, before the oil change, so it wasn't a whole lot to worry about on there, and um, everything's normal. All right, and so before um, I, sit, I took the truck into the dealer, I did have a Fram filter on there. I paid, you know, six, ten bucks for something like that. Uh, the dealer did take that brand new filter off I replaced today and put a, a stock filter on there. Looks like they used a new gasket, and it is Mopar. So uh, pretty happy with that. Everything looks looks good as far as that goes. So dealer dealership did good, and uh, it's ready for. Another, you know, three to five thousand miles. I use full synthetic, so I'll probably run it five thousand miles, and it, at the rate I'm going, it, it'll last another six months. I change about twice a year. Uh, you know, take your take your filter out of your engine before you take it to the dealer or whoever does your oil changes, because they're free, right, for the first couple, and uh, get to know your engine a little bit. You know, cr crack it open, maybe just for fun, uh, just out of pure curiosity. Hey, this uh, this engine has an issue with it. You can let the dealer know, and they. They might be surprised that you know what you know that what to look for. So, 
I uh, hope you found this video informative. And uh, if you would, click like and subscribe, and I'll get you another one. Thank you.